Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGuy YouTube channel. Today I've got a brand new light from a Swiss company called Future of Grow. First Swiss grow light I think I've reviewed. And this is called their AirGrow Pro 3. And yeah, it's a really, really interesting fixture. It's got the supplementary UVA, infrared and UVB LED bars. Um, big 600 watt fixture for a 5x5 really good components, really high efficiency in the test, which you'll see later. So uh, yeah, let's take a closer look. So this is a big fixture. It's got a big beam running down the center to which you can attach the LED bars. These LED bars have clips on them, so you can release the clip and adjust and slide these LED bars up and down on this main beam so they can get your optimum spread. There's eight white and um, 660 nanometer red bars, and they are all powered by this high quality, high efficiency Inventronics driver. And you also have manual dimming control, so you can dim up and down with this little dimming remote station. That's for the, um, for the, the main bars, the white and, uh, and 660 nanometer reds. You can then have this option to add to UVA, UVB and infrared bars. They plug directly into the mains and have um, their own internal drivers on board. This is a really high efficiency fixture, really high quality components. These white LED bars, uh, white and red, have a Samsung LM301H, both cool and warm white LEDs, as well as Osram 660 nanometer reds. And they're all, as I said, on the main channel, delivering just over 600 watts of power um, to the grow. In addition, you've got these additional bars, these optional add-on extras. And they've got a mixture of UVA. So you can see the blue UVA um, LEDs there, as well as the far red. You can see these very dull, sort of deep red ones. And then you got these little UVB uh, LEDs as well. Now I tested the spectrum with the UVA and IR bars off and you can see there the uh, spectrum with the big spike in the red showing really high electrical and also photosynthetic efficiency. And then on the other side you can see there with the UVA and uh, IR bars on. Now I couldn't test that for the UVB with the spectral radiometer so I'll just show you with the uh, solar meter uh, you can detect quite a lot of UVB coming out of those little um, UVB LEDs. There's two of them on each of the uh, supplementary bars. And the guys of Future of Grow are partnered with a big university in Switzerland, the University of Lausanne, and in the plant biology department. And they have done lots of research of their own fixtures, in particular versus HPS. Um, but also showing the benefits um, in terms of reducing pests and disease uh, using, the, using their supplementary bars as well as improving taste and flavor of the crop. There's links below to the studies that they've carried out and the references on their website. Now this fixture is specified for either a 1.2 by 1.2 meter area or 4 by 4 all the way up to a 1.5 by 1.5 meter area or 5 by 5 grow tent. I tested it in the larger area, the 5x5 five five at um, 30 centimeters or one foot hanging height over the plant canopy. The light is spread really well in the test. The light consumes 628 watts. It delivers an average power of 789 micromoles for a excellent efficiency of 2.86 micromoles per watt. This fixture is badged as a 2.95 PPF per watt, so it has really, really good delivery of that efficiency to the plant canopy in practical terms. So a really good system efficiency yeah, for this fixture. So lots of innovation here in terms of adding these um, UVB, in particular LEDs, to their supplementary bars. You got UVB, UVA, and infrared you can add on there. And you've got uh, movable LED bars so you can adjust them up and down and replace them if faulty or damaged and uh, they're also upgradable at a later date as well. So really nice high efficiency, 
high quality fixture from Future of Grow. Congratulations to them. Please check out the links below to look at more details of the light. And as I said, uh, those studies that they've carried out uh, in, their, um, in their testing with, uh, in particular, as I said, comparing to HPS, um, but also looking at the additional benefits of uh, in particular using these supplementary lights. I hope you enjoyed. Looking forward to your comments below. Take care.